Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Best of Winter Dinners. So if this is your first time to my channel, I do videos every Friday with three new recipes, three new dinner ideas. And over the course of three months, each, each quarter, we pick our top five from those three months. That's what this video is today. So today's video I am picking from recipes from July, August, and September of 2021. And I will tell you that out of the top five, three are similar-ish, but they're all different. It's just funny that they all three ended up in our top five and they're number five, four, and three. So stick with me. They're all different, but they sound similar. Oh, before we get started, if it is your first time here and you need dinner inspiration, you're looking for new dinner ideas all of the time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get started. That way you won't miss out on any of the new meals that I'll be sharing in the coming weeks. Okay, now let's go to number five. Our number five meal was not too long ago. It is a chicken enchilada rice casserole. And it's very reminiscent of like a burrito bowl. You could change it up however you prefer but this is a great base to get you started and you could just change things out. But we really loved this one and this is going to be a repeat in our house for sure. Hey y'all, it is our third night. It's actually mid afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and prep some things for tonight's dinner just to make it easier when it comes time to cook dinner tonight. But today we are having chicken enchilada rice casserole. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rice now. I've got it going in my Instant Pot. And then I'm also going to bake some chicken just to have it. So I'm gonna shred it for the casserole later. You could always use rotisserie chicken, but you just need to pre-make your chicken. So I'm doing that now. I'm cooking my rice. Everything will be set to go when I'm ready to cook in just a little bit. Okay, the recipe calls for white cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. I have half a block of regular cheddar cheese left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it up. And then I've got some white cheddar cheese. I don't have any Monterey Jack, but we're gonna make do. I am halving this recipe today just because we have a lot of leftovers already this week. And the whole recipe makes 12 servings, and I could freeze half of it, but I just decided to do half. Somebody is over here begging while I'm doing this, but she just got a lot of the chicken that I shredded up. Don't let her fool you. I'm gonna give her some cheese too. Don't worry, but she's already had a good bit of chicken. She's a happy girl. Okay, let's give Gracie Lou her cheese because that's the rule, right? Good girl. Is that good cheese? Okay, now it's time to assemble everything. I've done all the hard work. I've already cooked my chicken and shredded it. I've cooked my rice. I shredded my um, cheese. And now we're just going to assemble everything into a large bowl, put it in the casserole dish, put it in the oven. First, we're gonna add our shredded chicken. I did three really thinly sliced chicken breasts. This is our one cup of rice that I cooked. So it was one cu cup uncooked. It makes around three cups cooked. This was some frozen corn. I stuck it in the microwave really quick just to kind of thaw it out a little bit, but it should equal to the same amount as like a can of corn. I need 10 ounces of red enchilada sauce. I'm only gonna be using about half of this can of refried beans. I will just freeze the other half. The recipe just calls for salt and pepper, but I decided to take it up a notch and do my homemade taco seasoning. I've just got about a tablespoon here. And we're just gonna add in half of our cheese. We'll top the casserole with the rest of the cheese at the end. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. There's already a good amount of salt in that taco seasoning that I put in here. I've got this casserole dish. I'm just gonna spray it really quickly. Top it with our cheese. That's it. This is going in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes. When it's bubbly, it's done. And it'll be time to eat.
Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> that's really good, yeah. Cole is here too. I don't know if he wants to be on camera, but if not, that's all right. You give that us one or two. Really good. Not be three. Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot of flavor in this. Yeah? And <laughs> you get the, the flavor of the enchilada sauce mm -hmm. and then all of the taco seasonings mm -hmm. that you get in there. You get a little bit of a kick of spice, yeah. which is really good. It's tremendous. I mean, they. Um, I think maybe the spice comes from the the hot sauce that you put on there. It probably is. Yeah. I think that's a great addition. I think the Cholula really. Yeah. Um, adds a little more punch to it. Sweet. Um, but this is really, really, really good. Okay. I think that you could certainly sub um, cilantro for yeah the parsley if you have some on hand. Right. Um, I didn't have any cilantro, so that was yeah. parsley I put on top, but. Um, another thing too, I was wanting to add in there. I thought I had a small can of diced green chilies. I think that would be a good addition as well, but mm. I think this shocked him. Yeah, it did. Okay, yeah, because <laughs> he has not been very excited about this one. I can always tell when he's excited and he was just like, mm -hmm, mm. okay, whatever. Okay, so now I'm getting the, uh, the refried beans. Okay. <laughs> That's coming through now. You so. like that? Refried beans, hold up, what? There's refried beans in this. Mm -hmm. I can get that now. Oh, it's okay. that, that bean flavor, yeah. you know, that pinto bean flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that with the spices and everything. So this one is definitely a winner, and it's a surprise winner for mm -hmm. you because you had your doubts, I think. So. I did. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Y'all, this may be in a favorites video. We'll see. But we are, like, blown away at the flavor of this. Y'all have got to make this one. Mm -hmm. This would be a great one for, like, if you're, you normally do Taco Tuesday, but you're looking for a, a different twist on that, like Mexican-style dinner, this is it. One more thing. Stephen had a good point. This reminds us of, like, a burrito bowl. So you put the, the same toppings that you would put on top of a burrito bowl into this, and I think it would be perfect. Touchdown on the flavors, for sure. Touchdown on the flavors. Oh, oh, look who just popped <laughs> in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Okay, our number four and our number three are both subby suppers. So thank y'all so much for continuing to send in some of your favorite recipes because they end up becoming our favorites too. The number four spot is a white chicken enchilada dish. We all loved this one and it really just stuck out in our minds. So that's why it came in at the number four spot. shredded cheese you just start assembling okay so what we're gonna do is mix about one cup of this cheese with this shredded chicken you want about two cups of shredded chicken I kind of cheated and used a rotisserie chicken I didn't cook one but I think about like one large chicken breast will equal about two cups of shredded chicken So we're just gonna take some of the chicken mixture with the cheese and put it here in the middle of one of the tortillas. I got some chicken too, you want that? Oh yeah. Now that I've rolled up all of my enchiladas, we've got our oven, I meant to say this, preheating to 425. Now we're gonna go make the sauce to pour on top of the enchiladas. We're gonna go melt some butter. Okay, now that our butter has melted, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of flour, and I'm just gonna whisk it together 
and cook it for about one minute. Okay, it's been about a minute. We're gonna add in two cups of chicken broth and I'm gonna spill it all over the stove because that's what I do. Now we're gonna cook this for like five to eight minutes. We want this to thicken up. It's gonna take a little while. Now that our sauce has thickened up, we're gonna add in about a, a cup of sour cream. One can of green chilies. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. Now we're gonna add in some stuff that's not in the recipe. First of all, we're gonna add in a pepper from our little garden, just because we like things spicy. And this was a recommendation from Stacy, so we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of garlic powder about a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and about a half a teaspoon of cumin. We'll stir that together. And then the last thing that Stacy said to add was a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Let's let that melt, and then we're gonna pour this all over our rolled up enchiladas. Okay, y'all, the last thing we're gonna do is just top it with some cheese. This is the rest of that Monterey Jack. You could use cheddar, use whatever you have on hand. Okay, this is going in at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. up and down excited about this y'all he almost he forgot to take a picture of the meal before we brought it in here like he's just been so excited dad dad what yeah <laughs> i can't wait oh the boy. excitement is real y'all good You never disappoint. <laughs> that is delicious. That white sauce is so cheesy and creamy and a touch of spice in there. Man, you don't improve on this. I mean, you could probably fix this with anything, whether it's chicken, beef, just really, really, really good. Well, I'm, I'm very excited that you have no words because I wanna eat and I don't wanna wait to hear your words. <laughs> so mm -hmm. let me eat. Y'all? I'm with Steven and Cole. There's nothing, there is nothing to do to improve on this. It's like no other enchiladas I've ever had. This white sauce just is so delicious. It is definitely a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. It's a new favorite. Yeah, for sure. So thank you, Stacy, for sending this in. Oh my goodness, it was worth the wait. I have a feeling this will not be the last time I make this. Okay, for our number three spot, another subby supper. It's crock pot white chicken chili. But this white chicken chili is different than most. It uses salsa verde, and it's a thinner consistency. A lot of times your chilies are really thick. This one is more of a soupy consistency, and we loved it. So there you go. So this is the remainder of the chicken that we had from last night. I just put it in this quart size bag and put it in the fridge because I knew we'd be using it today. So I've got two large chicken breasts here. We're gonna need this ingredient. This is the one I was talking about that's a little bit different. It's salsa verde gonna use this entire container. A couple of cans of Great Northern beans, some cumin, and this whole container of chicken broth. I am gonna drain these Great Northern beans. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is throw our chicken breasts in. 
Now on top of that, I'm gonna throw in our beans. The recipe calls for two teaspoons of cumin. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. That's pretty much what I have left in the bottom of this container. I don't know if you can tell. There's not a whole lot left. I need to add this to my grocery list. Yep, I just dumped the rest of it in there. This entire jar of salsa verde. And the recipe online called for six cups of chicken broth, but she uses four cups and I saw in the comment section on the recipe. I'm gonna share something about that in a second. But a lot of people only used four cups, so I'm just gonna use this one container, which is four cups. Okay, we're gonna cook this on high for three or four hours. I'm gonna put it on for three and a half hours and just check it at that point. We'll come in and shred the chicken at the end. Let me pop the lid on. Okay, so that's gonna cook all afternoon. We'll be back this evening to do our taste test, but I wanted to share this with you really quickly. A lot of people ask, do you ever make things that Steven doesn't like? And the answer is yes, of course, but it's very, very rare. And it's not because I'm some ex exceptional cook. It's just because I do my research when it comes to recipes. So if I find a recipe that sounds good, I'll take a look at it and I'll look at it, its reviews and all of the comments in there. And I kind of bypass the comments that say, oh, this sounds good, I'll have to try it. But I go to the comments of people who have actually tried it. And if I see a theme running in there where several people said the same thing, I take note of that. I also go and research and find an, another similar recipe and see which one I think I would like best, if that makes sense. So. I know it takes a little extra time when you are trying to look for a new recipe. That's one of the reasons why I do these videos is to help you with that so that we find the best of the best and we only show y'all what we really like. So there's that. But if you're looking for it on your own, do, do a little extra legwork, read the reviews, look at several recipes, not just one particular site and kind of find what works best for you. Okay, it has been three and a half hours. Ooh. We're gonna pull our chicken out and shred it. Okay, let's add this back in. My all-time favorite chili. White chicken chili. Love white chicken chili. It's really good. I've never had it with av avocado though, so. Mm. So this has salsa verde in it. I've never mm. put that in white chicken chili. Usually I just put green chilies diced yeah. up in there. But Is they're not in there? No. Really? No. Wow. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. How do you like that avocado with it too? Yeah. Cole isn't here tonight, so we don't mm. get to, oh, we don't get his thumbs up, but he wouldn't be able to add the avocado and he wouldn't want to add the cilantro, but. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> this is really, really, really good. Um, I, I definitely like the, the salsa verde. I never would have guessed that salsa verde in there. Yeah, really interesting, good. right? Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Well, y'all, this one is a really great one. I had my doubts just because there were so few ingredients, but this is not lacking in flavor at all. Mm. It is so good. Yeah. I really like that you could just use rotisserie chicken if you wanted to and have this have dinner ready in like 15 minutes, or you can throw it in the crock pot like I did and let it cook all day. This was perfect. What I like about this uh, particular recipe is the fact that it's soupy. I love having um, 
the broth. I, I love having this broth. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. I don't think you should. I don't think you should try to thicken this up. I've had some thick white chicken chili before, like the I think it's the McCormick's. Yeah. Or, is yeah. That, yeah. Um, and it's good. Yeah, it's good, and it's a it's creamy, and I like the creaminess too. But I like this version. Um, I like the soup. I don't know. I just I yeah. just think it's a nice little twist on this. It is. Sure. It's really yeah. good. Love it. The number two and number one spots were tough. Stephen and I like debated over this <laughs> for several minutes, and we finally decided that number two was going to be the buffalo cheeseburger tater tot casserole. We love some tater tot casseroles up in this house and we've made a lot of different kinds, but this one sticks out. It's a little spicy, so there is a way for you to make it less spicy if your family is not into spice. But if you love spice, ooh, this one is a good one. Buffalo cheeseburger tater tot casserole. Gracie, are you gonna love it? She's like, I know it has cheese, so yes. How easy is this? How easy is it? How easy can it be? Well, you could buy already shredded cheese, but y'all know I have this really great cheese shredder. So I'm gonna shred my cheese. I'm gonna chop up some onions and mince some garlic and that's it. Then we're headed over to the stove. The recipe calls for three cloves of garlic. I had two large cloves and a couple of small cloves. We need two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna do this it might help if I scoot that there. I'm gonna do this entire block. So I've got this large cast iron skillet heating up to about medium high heat. You want to use either an oven safe skillet or you're just gonna have to cook everything in a skillet and then transfer it over to a baking dish. I do have the oven preheating to 375. Now that this is up to temperature, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom. We're gonna put in one pound of lean ground beef. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil to the skillet because I do want to add in my onions and my garlic. While this is cooking, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. While our ground beef is still cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out three-fourths a cup of our buffalo sauce. So I don't have to drain any grease because this was 93.7. So now I'm gonna add in some Rotel, some diced tomatoes with green chilies. My grocery store subbed and, add, and gave me the kind with no salt added. That's why I added a little extra salt in the beginning. Let's add in our buffalo sauce, three-fourths a cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off because this is all gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. It doesn't need to be on any longer. All right, do we arrange them all pretty? It's gonna get covered with cheese. I'm thinking I just throw them on here and just kind of even them out. That's what I think. Yeah. This is a 28 ounce bag of frozen tater tots. I'm just gonna try to get them as much in a single layer as possible. This is going in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes uncovered. And then after 30 minutes, we'll add the rest of the cheese on top and just let that melt. More cheese. More cheese. Yum. It's been 30 minutes. Let's add the remainder of the cheese on top and we're gonna pop it back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes just until the cheese is completely melted and then it's gonna be time to eat. This has all the makings of a great meal. Yeah, man, a crowd pleaser, I think. Wow, it's a Steven pleaser for sure. <laughs>
I'm so happy. Man, that is really good. Really spicy. The uh, buffalo sauce definitely comes through. Yeah. It's um, it's like a chili. It's like a chili, but just with tater tots. On tater top. tots on top. That's yeah. awesome. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Cole mm. is here. He's just not in here yet. He'll be here in just a second, so we'll get his input in just a minute. But I'm gonna give this a try. Yes. 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 Just so much yes. Hmm. So I love this, but I will tell you it is pretty spicy. And for that reason, someone is only giving it one thumb up, one thumbs up. Here we go. I'm not even going there. <laughs> one thumbs up. <laughs> but he said it's really good. It's just a little too spicy for him. We're also trying a new salad dressing tonight. It's called Big Charlie's. It's like a steakhouse dressing. This is new to me, new to us. Both of these guys love it. Mm -hmm. Cole, you like it too? And he's usually just, he wants to eat the Olive Garden kind, but mm -hmm. thought we would give this a try and they love it. So I'm gonna give it a try as well. But if you like spicy, you're going to love this. The older Cole gets, the less he likes spicy, not like over the top spicy. This is like making my nose run spicy. It's good, y'all. And coming in at our number one spot is an Instant Pot meal, but you don't have to have an Instant Pot to make it. You can just make it on the stove. I did not include this in our favorites Instant Pot dinner video <laughs> that I did recently because I knew it was gonna be in this video. So a little plug, if you are interested in more Instant Pot dinners and you wanna know some of our favorites, I will link that video below. I've got another video where I think I share five other Instant Pot recipes that we really love. And our number one meal is Instant Pot Chicken Pad Thai. It definitely is restaurant quality. So if you love Thai food, make sure you stay tuned to this one. For our first winter dinner of the week, I am making Instant Pot Chicken Pad Thai. Someone holding the camera is really excited. <laughs> To get started, I'm gonna prep our veggies. If you have a spiralizer, you can use that for zucchini, otherwise you're gonna cut them into matchsticks. started on our sauce. So I've got a fourth a cup of brown sugar. We want to use two tablespoons of natural creamy peanut butter. Five cloves of garlic minced. Here in this one cup I have a fourth a cup of chicken broth, a fourth a cup of rice vinegar, a fourth a cup of low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of fish sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and <laughs> one tablespoon of sriracha. So let's add all of this in here and we're gonna whisk everything together. And the recipe doesn't call for it, but we like to add some heat. So these are peppers that we grew in our little garden, our Charlie Brown garden. We're gonna add these in with the sauce. Steven chopped up the chicken for me. He chopped it into pretty small pieces I think the recipe calls for 1.5 inch cubes, but he did them more like slices. I'm gonna add all of our chicken. This is one large chicken breast, by the way. Add it to the bottom here. Now we're just gonna pour our sauce over top. Now that they're all coated in the sauce, let's add one cup of matchstick carrots. And we're also gonna add in the white and light green parts of our green onion. All right, we're gonna cook this on high for four minutes. Now that it cooked for four minutes, we're going to slow release for five minutes. We're gonna use half of this package because we only need eight ounces of rice noodles. We're just gonna cook these according to the package directions. Let's put a timer on just so we don't overcook them. Now into the sauce, we're gonna add one cup of bean sprouts and all of our bell pepper and zucchini. You 
want to coat these in the sauce. Just put the lid back on and let it naturally steam. Don't use the steam function on your Instant Pot. If it has one, it'll turn everything to mush. So just let it naturally kind of sit there for three to four minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's drain our rice noodles. Let's add our rice noodles in, give everything a toss, and then it's gonna be time to eat. I'm excited because pad thai is my favorite probably my favorite yeah it is my favorite thai dish it is um, yeah pad thai is my favorite i love curry too but pad thai there's something about it whenever we go to the thai restaurant that's what he gets is pad thai all right so let's get some of this action here mm. 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 oh my word that is good yeah oh wow yes spicy it's i mean very 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 similar to the pad thai dish that you eat at the restaurant very similar i mean this tastes authentic authentic homemade pad thai incredible okay i i love you and i'm so excited for you to explain everything but i, I gotta eat though it is very reminiscent of what we get when we go to the restaurant so i have a feeling this this will probably be in a favorites video. And that's gonna be it. If you loved this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I am gonna put it in my best of playlist. So if you're looking for some other ideas, some of our other family favorite meals, all of that will be linked below as well. I don't have any new bloopers this week since we didn't film videos or film dinners this week, but I'm gonna insert some old bloopers, some oldies but goodies here in just a second. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to join my YouTube family before you leave. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> Some big chicken. Uh, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Why are you gonna turn it on when I'm scratching my nose? I don't know. Thanks. Look at them bridges. <laughs> Got a little fuzzy ball on the back. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got this. Hey y'all. I'm Mandy. <laughs> this is Mandy and the May. Come on, you can do it. Why don't you do it? I just did. <laughs> Alright, you can okay, get this. Alright, right, let's do it. Ready? One good practice run here, ready? <laughs> uh, Just a practice run, let's do it. Why'd you let me lay out? Okay. Come on, ready? And go. <laughs> All right, you wanna do it one more time? Yes, because okay. you made me laugh. One more time, no Stop. laughing involved. I'm about to kick right. you out and put I'm it on a tripod. All right, watch this, ready? Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you doing? She's staring at you. <laughs> Did I mess up your spot? I saw we. Yeah. Angle me. Why? Because it shows my 40 chins. Thanks. Yeah, you got 40 chins. I got enough of them. You don't. You're beautiful. Why, baby? You're so pretty. Up, uh, angle. There we go. There. Hi. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Where is smell o vision when you need it? <laughs> oh, she got her boxing mitts on. 80 minutes? <laughs> getting good at that and he screams and scares me every time. <laughs> uh, I just have to. I love you too much. <laughs> Not to aggravate you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was going to explain to you off camera what I was going to do. Explain it.
explain as if you're just talking to me. Just explain it to me. I was going to tell you how we're going to film this. Okay. They tell, don't need to know that. No, you just tell me. You just tell me. Tell him how we're going to do it. You know, I could just put the camera on a tripod. There is a, there's a gnat in here. If my eyes just went cross, there's a gnat in here. I could just put the camera on a tripod. Don't do that. Just tell me. Tell me how you're going to do this. I was just going to tell you how I wanted you to film this. Yeah, would you so tell me? So I could edit. No! Steven! Gracie, you don't want this one and it has no cheese. Isn't that awful? No cheese, Gracie. Sorry, little girl. Looks like she understands. You need to do another clean with me. Get some cleaning going on here. I'm just kidding. I love him so much. Oh, you're so cute and you're mad. There's no cheese in this one either. What's wrong with us this week? Tell them. Grace. So there's supposed to be cheese in every meal. Great job. You want some, you want a treat? Great job. You want a treat, Grayson?